it's all about the human condition. As human beings, we are afflicted with diseases and we need nutrition to survive. We also need access to a source of energy to move around. All three of those areas, it's all interrelated. These are big global challenges. We are focused on using scientific innovations to improve the human condition and to improve life on the planet. Flagship began when we launched this effort to create an institution where innovation and company creation would be combined with capital and expertise to create generations of breakthrough companies with impact to many big challenges to humanity. I come from a nation that's today called Armenia. I was born in Lebanon. My family escaped Lebanon during the Civil War and immigrated to Canada when I was a teenager. After spending a few years in Canada, I came to Boston and started getting into this field of biotechnology, which was at its absolute birth stages back in 1983. Immigration makes one poised to learn, to experiment, to adapt in ways resembling what it is that I've done for the last 31 years as a science technology-based entrepreneur. Flagship is an experiment in institutional entrepreneurial innovation done in the context of a small company, the kind of the insurgent mindset versus the incumbent mindset. It's innovation that's entrepreneurial, but done in an institutional way. That's what Flagship is trying to find its way to become. We use the word origination to mean the conception, innovation, and then launch of a new company around something that's unprecedented. We have a process by which we do it that over the last 17 years has been refined and it's modeled after Darwinian evolution. We start out by asking, what if this could be done? What if that could be done? Or sometimes we say, if only we could do this, what would result? And we don't obsess over whether it can be done. The majority of the innovations that happen today are done in fact in the reverse order. The science and technology are done first. We sometimes call this reverse discovery. We are doing discovery of something that turns out to be a valuable answer to the original question without presuming it. What if you could have a red blood cell carry biological therapeutic that you want to use to treat a disease? What would that mean? Notice I haven't said how can we do it, will it work, it doesn't matter. Rubius is a company that is developing a new category of medicines based on human red blood cells that contain a therapeutic agent. The applicability of this could be for a broad range of diseases, ranging from metabolic diseases to cancer to immunological diseases, and we're pursuing all of those. The genesis of Rubius was an exploration focused on whether a red cell in a therapeutic use could be an effective new medicine. Indigo is a company that was based on the question, do microbes reside inside plants? We started reasoning that maybe these microbes were as important to the health of corn and wheat and cotton and important industrial crops just like they are for humans. Much of modern agriculture had generally eliminated these bacteria. What we started doing in Indigo is to develop products that are industrial crops with the added restoration of positively contributing microbes in order to attain productivity gains in the order of 10, 15%. And we often get asked the question, do you start with a problem or do you start with a solution? The answer is neither. You start with projecting out and then running into problems and solutions through this journey. And the only problems and solutions worth working on for us are ones that have vast impact.